Hello everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com. In today's lesson, I'll be showing you guys how to play No Woman, No Cry by Bob Marley and the Wailers. This is a melody version arrangement inspired by the live performance in London back in 1975. Sounds like this. Here we go into the chorus. we're into a verse. All right, so that's all we're going to get through in this video, but over at hdpiano.com, I'll be going through the rest of the song, both the melody version, as well as some accompaniment tips in case you're singing yourself or working with a singer. All right, so all that and more over at hdpiano.com. Hope to see you there after this. All right, now, before I dive in, just a quick question, um, and it doesn't pertain to the piano, it pertains to the drums. There is something very specific about the drum beat for reggae music in general. And I'm curious if you guys know what that is. And if so, comment below with your ideas. I will answer that pop quiz in part two. All right, so we're in the key of C major. So I highly recommend you get familiar with those seven notes. Luckily in the key of C, we're only working with white notes, no accidentals, so that makes it pretty easy to find your way around. Now, you might try and play along with the original recording, but unfortunately, it's like a quarter step above C. It was probably recorded on tape, and, you know, the speed got changed a little bit. So it's a little bit hard to play along. Um, it sounds a little jarring. Just a warning there. But let's move along. All right, so we start off here. We're looking at a lot of the organ material um, that we hear on the record. So this is a G chord into a C chord on the downbeat. That's the five chord to the one chord. So we have G in the left, B, and G in the right. Here's middle C here. Now we're holding that top G, and we're just playing eighth notes with the other notes, and we're just going to go up a step, up a step, and then back down to our first note. And those are parallel tenths. All right, so that's three and four and one, and this is C major, C in the left, root position, C major triad in the right, that's C, E, and G. Now we keep that top note the same, and we just walk everything else down a step, and we get B in the left, B and D, and G in the right. So that's C major to G major over B in the left hand, and then A minor seven. So our left hand continues on to A, but our right hand goes back to the C major voicing. When you put that over A, you get A minor seven, but then we're gonna bring it down to root position minor triad here, A, C, E. One, two, and three, four. So we open up on the and of two to F major. That's F in the left, A, C, F in the right. And then we're gonna take it up an inversion, C, F, A on the and of four, and one and we return to our C major chord. All right, so let's go through those first two measures with the pickup. One, two. Two, G over B, four, and A minor seven to F. And one, two, and. All right, so there's just a nice classic walk down from four, three, two, to one. So we have F in the left, C, F, A in the right. This is F major, the four chord. And here we see C major in the right hand, C, E, G over E in the left. D and F in the right over D in the left. And then down a step to C and E in the right over C in the left. 
if you want, you can add an A below for the D minor and a G below for the C major. All right. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. We repeat that little walk up moment on G. And if you'd like, you can double it um, a third below so that your right hand is doubling the left hand and playing this third above. All right, so moving on, we just repeat A minor seven to F three, uh, four and one, two and three and four and one, two. And now here, slight change there. Left hand remains the same. Right hand plays G and B, F and A, E and G, D and F. Those are just thirds moving down the scale. We land on C major. All right, so that's the whole intro. Great work. Whoops. Those are all the chords that we're going to hear in the chorus. And it also includes all the chords that we're going to hear in the verse. The verse is actually just a loop of... Um, the first two measures. So it's even simpler, but we'll get to that in a later video. So let's look at the melody. All right, so we start with a chord. We land on C major, G, C, E. One, and then we come up for the melody. No woman, no cry. So you'll notice that the left hand is going to continue on with the same pattern. C, B, A, F, C, walk down to the C, and then walk up. All right, so that's all unchanged. The left hand, we know, so I'm not going to talk about that. So C, we start here, G, C, E, and we jump up to first inversion. So we're jumping from this inversion to root position up to first inversion. E, G, C. One, so one, two, three. On beat three, we have B in the bass, D, G, B in the right, and here we have eighth notes. We're gonna open that B up to a C, and back down, and then we land on A minor, C, E, and A in the right. So one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, root position F major, that's F, A, C. So you'll notice that anytime we're playing down here in this register, it's more like accompaniment chords, just kind of filling the space. But anytime our right hand comes up here, it's probably for the melody. So one more time. Come down. Four and one. So that was F major to C major. E, G, C. One. Now we come up here on beat two. Pretty big jump skipping this inversion, this inversion, this inversion, and then we're getting to this inversion. So that's G, C, and E. So from first inversion to second inversion up the octave. One, two, three, and four, and. So again, the old familiar walk up with some new chords in the right. A, C, F, that's F major. G, C, E. F, A, with the E on top, that's still the melody note there, and then C major, E, G, C. All right, then we do our little walk up on G, and we repeat. So you notice there was a slight change to the melody there. Start with the same note, but this time we jump up to a D on top, and then E, G, C, down to our A minor. So those middle two chords are a little different. A minor, down to F, four and one, two, three and four, and it's all the same. Two and three and four and one. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna play down one loop of the intro and then two loops of that chorus at a nice slow tempo. So you can play along if you'd like. All right, let's do it. One, two. Here's 
here's the chorus. time. Slightly different melody here. All right. Into the verse. All right. So we'll be getting into the verse in the next video over at hdpiano.com. Not only that, I'll be going through a lot of stuff that's that can help you kind of expand your approach to this piece. This is a very simple arrangement. And, uh, you know, I figured just considering the popularity of this song, I want it to be accessible for anyone. Um, but I will be talking about ways that we can kind of spice things up. And also we'll be looking at a lot of the organ fills um, in the accompaniment video coming up later because there's a lot of good stuff in there. So... It's been a pleasure. My name is Devin with hdpiano.com. While I have you here, please like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. That way you'll stay in the know about all of our upcoming lessons. We'll see you guys soon.